Shalom and greetings, everybody. Brother Nicholas James Vanderlane, victory for the people of Israel from by the narrow path, which are the Ten Commandments. Today is the 20th day of the fifth month on Elohim Zadok, Priest, Dead Sea Scroll, Enoch, Solar Calendar. It is August 8th, 2018. This video is being broadcasted from the Famagusta region of Cyprus, and the title of this video is The Harvest is Past, The Summer is Ended, and We Are Not Saved. So in this video, I'll be proposing a possible backstop cutoff time for the so-called rapture event, which more so appears to be a shield and gathering at the coming Mount Zion. This is the escape, I believe Yeshua taught. So just to disclaim, as I do in all my videos, finding this day is a process of elimination. We are called to watch, especially since seeing the Revelation 12 sign on September 24th, 2017. Watching consists of seeking Elohim and searching out his scriptures. It's an edifying process, keeping us sharp and attentive so he won't find us asleep. There's so many types to this event. I've never claimed any days for certain, as I don't have a full understanding. These are watches. My understanding is in progress, just like I hope everyone else's is. And like I said, we're trying to hone in or hone in on that day. That is what I am trying to do. So I have done some real-time homing in on that day in several recent videos that I've published. The first video, Shemitah 2017, Jubilee 2018, and the Rapture in 2019. In this video, I recalibrated the Jubilee based on Isaiah 37.30 and Jeremiah 51.46. And I linked the U.S. bombings of Syria of April 7, 2017 and April 2018 to these scriptures, recalibrated it. This next video that I did is very important. It's the, regarding the Revelation 12 sign. I believe that it has a two-year shelf life. It's a two-year warning for the destruction of Damascus. And I got that based on Isaiah chapter 8, verse 1 through 4, where I identified Damascus to be destroyed within two years of this sign before a baby can say a possessive sentence, uh, my father, my mother. Okay, and that usually happens between 18 to 24 months. So it's like a two-year time period. The next video that I did, I thought that we're getting closer and closer, was the Feast of New Wine Rapture. Again, this is more of a gathering event to Zion, but it's commonly called a rapture. In this video, I identify Yeshua isn't going to drink the fruit of the vine until he drinks it new with us in the kingdom of his Father. The new wine is also the wedding festival. And in Joel, we are told that the new wine is cut off. And that book of Joel is so important to finding this day. The next one, I figured out the good man's return. The good man was Ezra. And in this video, I solved the riddle of Proverbs chapter 7, verse 19 to 20, that regarding the good man who went on a long journey, taking a bag of money with him, and he comes home on the day appointed. That was Ezra. He returned on the first day of the fifth month. And then he stayed for the festival of new wine. So I thought that this was it. We're getting closer. We're within two years. The good man returns. Didn't happen here. Didn't happen on new wine on the first day. Didn't happen on the third day of the fifth month. Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of the fifth month, came and gone. I thought that was, an, or the tenth day of the fifth month, also came and gone. I thought that was going to be a possibility. And the only thing that I could say is that the bridegroom tarried to his wedding. So the verses that we're going to take a look at for this video is Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 19 through 20. Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people from a land far off. Is not Yahweh in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. So, you might say, Nick, you're not putting them in context. I believe that this is enough context. And these people are in a far off land. Okay, more than likely they're Ephraimites, possibly way off in the United States, is not Yahweh in Zion. So here we see it. Zion is where Yahweh's throne is. And remember, uh, the man child or the remembered one, the Zakar one, he is caught up to the throne. We are going to be caught up to the throne, possibly, what it looks like, to where? To Zion. Okay, that's where his throne is. Is not her king in her. So King Yeshua, Malek Yeshua. He's both king and high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. So he must be there. So everybody else is there. 
who are, or the people who are account accounted worthy to escape are there, I should say. Because all of these other people here are saying this harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. They understand that they missed out on the escape, which is a very horrible position to be in, which is why I am doing my ministry to try to wake you people up back to the Ten Commandments and the Seventh Day Sabbath and prepare yourself for the wedding, keeping your garments pure, the graven images and the strange vanities. I perceive that this is talking about spiritual idolatry. These people are committing spiritual idolatry because they're making God or Elohim in their own image of their own minds. How do they do that? It's very simple in Christianity. You just look at Christianity. Christianity is a lawless religion because they have gone away with Yahweh's laws and they have now adopted their own laws. And one of the things that they have done is, re is removing the seventh day Sabbath. So when does summer end? Because summer has passed and we are not saved. So again, according to this video I did, and I recommend everybody watch those, those video lists and get caught up. In this video, I said it has a two-year shelf life, and that would put a max window around September 23rd, 2019. The sign happened on September 24th. So this puts it on September 23rd. That's a two-year shelf life. And then now, when does summer end? Well, on our calendar, the Gregorian calendar, summer ends at the fall equinox, which happens to be September 23rd. That means that the last day of summer is September 22nd, 2019. But more importantly, the last day of summer on Yahweh Elohim's Enoch solar calendar is September 18th. 2018. So again, summer's end appears to be a backstop. I expect the escape event to happen sometime prior to that. In part two of this video, or this video series that I'm doing, I'm going to try to put three videos and publish them all in the same day. I will be looking at the basket of summer fruits. So I hope that you watch this next video with me. Again, friends and brothers and sisters out there,